Leg power. Producing uh, power from your legs is, is ultimately the most important body leverage you can create. Again, using the floor, using gravity, and knowing how to push off the ground. Strong legs create strong punches. I wanna go over some basic tools that I use and, and just drills that I do for, for the legs. Now, basic lift, you should learn this in all of your shadow boxing, all of your mitt work, all of your punching in, in bags. When you're shadow boxing, there's nothing that drives me more crazy than seeing this. I can't stand that. And their hands might look good, but there's no lift. You wanna lift things. Anytime that I'm throwing a shot, I wanna lift. And when you get used to using the lower half with the upper half, your power will change immensely. I wanna think like I'm pushing off the ground before I release a punch. So a good little drill to do, and start with uppercuts. Uppercuts is the easiest because uppercuts go upwards. They're the easiest, easiest punches to lift. So when lifting, all I'm doing is I'm taking weight from my right leg, lifting with the right uppercut. Taking weight from my left leg, lifting with the left uppercut, and just using it. Okay, so Justin, I'm gonna go ahead and have you start lifting uppercuts. And it's gonna feel like he's jabbing his head into a low ceiling, okay? If you were in a low ceiling and you hear a knock every time that you're landing a punch, it's very important to know that because you're using lift, you're using your legs to create leverage, pushing off the ground. Good, keep that going. Good, speed it up just a touch for me. Good, notice he speeds up his punches and his legs speed up. And stop. Okay, so when we think about this, it's fundamental. It's kind of like walking with your punches. This is walking with your punches. This is lifting with the walk. So you might have seen in one of my videos before where you learned how to walk with punches, okay? Learn to walk with lift. When you're throwing, having lift in your shots is very important, okay? So I'm gonna have you go back to these uppercuts again and go ahead and just start lifting nice and slow, okay? Now this is where it gets hard. It's easy to lift uppercuts. Okay, so I'm gonna have you slowly turn those into one twos and keep lift. Good, yep. And he should be here in that ceiling with his head. Boom, 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 boom. Good, back to the uppercuts. Yep, yep. Good, 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 straight shots. Good, keep that same beat, back to the uppercuts. Yep, speed it up just a touch. And then the straight shots, keep the same beat with your legs. Good, it's wonderful. Love it, back to the uppercuts. Into hooks, good. Notice his head popping up, and time. Notice his head popping up, I don't mean his head popping up, I mean the top of his head driving up. No matter whether he was throwing uppercuts, straight shots, hooks, he had it the whole time. This is very hard to do. Again, the uppercuts is kinda easy. Drill this over and over and see if you can challenge one shot here and there. If I'm doing uppercuts, can I shoot a right and keep that? Can I shoot a jab, boom, and keep that hop? Can I shoot a hook and keep that hop, that lift? Very important when creating strength from your legs. How do you learn to punch from the floor in combinations? Get that flow, get used to it. You could use a speed bag and punch upwards on it. I use that a lot with my athletes when I'm punching up on it and then they have to back up and keep that lift when I'm teaching them this drill. Have fun with this drill. Start with uppercuts, turn it into straight shots, turn it into hooks. Okay, now I'm gonna go into other tools that I like to use. Okay. Is the medicine ball. And we'll do this on the heavy bag or we'll do it on the mitts also. And with this, so Justin, I'm gonna have you stand on this side for this one so they can see your body. Okay, so go ahead and get in your boxing stance. Okay, right. so I'm gonna have him reach down, square up, grab this ball as a, he's gonna throw a left uppercut. Okay, I want his body mechanics to match. He's gonna grab the ball and lift like he'd be throwing a left uppercut. He's gonna put it back down, throw an uppercut. And he's gonna go back down, grab it again. We're gonna do this six times through. So drop down, grab the ball for me, slow for me, slow on this first one. Let's do it again one more time, start a little bit slower, just so we can see the body mechanics, stop. 
his legs are working right now. Okay, this is over exaggeration. This is what we need to build the legs, build the strength for power. Okay, so he's gonna lift, boom. He's gonna drop it back down, and then left uppercut, and then back down again, boom, and again, ha, and again, boom, ha, and again, boom, ha, good. Now we'll go to the right side. Okay, so the right side, go ahead and get in your boxing stance. This here is gonna be, again, same body mechanics for a right uppercut. He's gonna drop down, ass out, pick up the ball, touch, put it back down, use that leg drive that he's starting from a flat foot position, like if I was stacking weights on my back, lift and rotate, okay? Let's go ahead and start with the right uppercut. He's gonna drop, touch, boom, drop, ha, and again, boom, bang, again, boom, bang, again, one more, boom. Ah, take a break, wonderful. So, this works great on the mitts. It works on a heavy bag. If you don't have a partner, just put it on the ground. You don't have to go crazy at first, just feel your legs. Again, you're strengthening your legs where you need them for leverage. Strong legs make strong punchers. This drill is very good. You could do it with right hands too, where I'd, I'd drop it down, pick it up, and turn. Boom, drop it, okay? Look at the basic of body mechanics when punching. Medicine ball is great because it adds more weight. It starts you from a low position if you have to pick it up from the ground. A great drill for strengthening the legs. Okay, so I'm gonna have you face me real quick. Okay, in boxing stance. So this next come forward just a touch. Okay, so this next drill, he's gonna shadow box a right hand and I'm gonna put a target out in front of him and what he's gonna do is step under, okay? So he's forcing his body to go under. So he's forcing the squat before he throws a punch. Okay, so he squats and throws. A slip rope works great for this. If you go at that slip rope laterally, okay. Yep, it's wonderful. So he drops down, he uses his legs, he uses his ass to throw the shot. Again, boom, yep, again, boom, good. Again, boom, good. The next one we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the, the, if you're using a slip rope, if you're using anything. I, I used to bob and weave underneath my garage little hanging rope all the time. Find something you can go under, okay? Slip rope can work, a partner with a noodle, or you can just imagine stepping underneath something, okay? So this next one, go ahead and get back in your boxing stance. Okay, so I'm gonna put this next one, come forward just a touch. I'm gonna put this one behind him. He's gonna pull back, he's gonna throw a left hook. Oh, that was nice, yeah, boom, good again. Boom, good. So he's pulling his way underneath, he's squatting and then he's lifting with his head. Boom, good, boom, good. Very good for your power. Boom, good. Try to left uppercut for me. Bang, yep. Boom, good, boom, good. Boom, take a break. So dropping out underneath something. So again, we use the medicine ball to feel the weight, to feel your legs working. This is gonna work your legs. You can do a lot more repetition without having that weight. You could put on a weighted vest. Understand the strength in your legs is what produces the, the, the full on body strength. This is the starting point to creating that body power when throwing, okay? So our next one, we're gonna kind of demonstrate this. I want you to picture this. You're dropping underneath to throw a right hand. So throw a normal right hand for me real quick. Boom, good, don't drop. I want you to almost throw it incorrectly. This is how I see lots of right hands being thrown. This is good from a rotational standpoint. He's got good rotation here, but what he's missing out is the fundamental, the strength from pushing off the ground. Now he's gonna drop under, picturing a target, and then throw. And there is a huge amount of power when he throws this. Good, I want you to come a little bit more up. Okay, don't fall over. Come up with your hips. Yes. Again. Good. Back up just a touch, right there. That's good. Again. Good. Okay, next one. He's gonna come underneath this, throw a left hook, okay? So I'm gonna wrap the, the hook around you. Okay, he's gonna drop and rotate. Good, throw a normal hook for me. Just without the hook. Again. Again. Okay, drop under. Good, again. Good, again. 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 Good. Short break. So you could see the leverage change. I could feel the leverage change big time. If you're out there throwing like this and you're wondering why you're not hitting hard, 
and you want to gain more power, be aware. Again, if you're not feeling like you're hitting hard, if you're hitting bags, okay, and you could just hit them over and over and over and you never start to see burns on your knuckles. You, you, I always know punchers because when I talk to them, their knuckles are calloused because they are hitting hard. Work on your legs. Leg strength is everything. It's almost like the guys that lift weights. I'm ah, one of them. But I had strong legs because I ran a lot and did a lot of footwork. But when it came to like lifted legs, you ain't going to see me on a squat rack. I'm just being honest. This is, you got to be real in these moments. Okay, here we go again. So a normal uppercut. Okay, now I want you to stick your ass out. Flat feet on the ground. Again, like if I'm stacking weights on my back, I'm pushing off the heels first. When it comes to foot position and understanding, if I'm throwing off my toes, I'm off balance, okay? There's certain shots that I'll throw off my toes. But uppercuts, if you dig down in the sand, you can really get a lot of lift. And again, let's use the full legs because we're focused on all power right now. Okay, so you're gonna squat down, ass down, and lift. <laughs> Good, again. <laughs> Wonderful. Again. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Beautiful. Guys, the legs. Focus on your legs. Put time into your legs. It's so important to hit hard. 